So please, please come to sit today and on the floor or up in a chair. Breathe in deep. I'm Marcel, I'm your yoga instructor today. Um, I'm teaching every day on Twitch. If you'd like to join in again and again or just one day, you can do so. I'm here every day from 4 p.m. to 5.30. So we're doing two yoga lessons of 45 minutes. One is an awareness-based class, which is available for everybody. The next one is more physical and you can try out doing it. It shouldn't be too hard, but it's a little bit more advanced than the awareness-based class. So everybody should be able to do the awareness-based class. You can do it also sitting right now, so you can just sit down and enjoy. I'm Marcel, as said, and I'm not alone here, but up here is Sean. Sean is here for entertainment, energy, and motivation, and we are teaching together. But I'm just here for the instructions, and he's here for every, everything else. So if you look into his eyes, he will send you some motivation and energy. And please find a good sit. And from there, start to breathe in deeper into the belly, into the chest. And from there, get longer from the sitting bones up towards your head. I'm getting longer from the sitting bones to the top of the head. And breathing out. And in again. And out. And today we want to connect with, with a certain calmness, whatever calmness means to you. What does calmness mean to you? Being calm, so breathing in deeply, into the belly into the chest, getting longer from the sitting bones to the top of the head. Maybe feeling a rope that is attached towards your head, on your head, and that is pulling you up. So breathing in deeply, getting longer from the sitting bones up towards the top of the head, where rope is attached at you, that is drawing you up a little bit. Good. And really deep into the belly then into the chest. So breathing in is active here. And breathing out is passive. Good. And in again. And out passive. Good. Release the arms by your sides. And from there lift the arms up. As you're lifting them up, breathing in. Getting longer from the sitting bones to the top of the hands. Long, 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 long. And then holding the breath and the hands are up and breathing out as you're releasing the arms. And when they are down, holding the breath. Go in your own rhythm. Just leaving the hands for some seconds on the top and then releasing the breath. And breathing in again. And breathing out. Long, 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 and releasing. Ah. 
And really go deep as you're breathing in. Feeling alive. Feeling calm. And release the breath again. Good job. Bring your hands slowly to your thighs. And move the palms forward and back. And feel a connection between the palms and the thighs. So feel maybe warmth between uh, palms or where do you feel the warmth on your thighs and on your palms and go forward and backward okay. and also breathe deep make this movement not too fast make it not too slow and then bring your shoulders forward upward backward and down and really go far backward far backward and down good how does this feel to you don't go too fast don't go too slow go in a rhythm that feels good to you Breathe deep. Good. Breathe one more time really deep into the belly, into the chest. And feel your body. Feel how the palms are feeling right now, the thighs are feeling right now. And release the hands. Get long from the sitting bones to the top of the head. Keeping that length. And then bring your fingers forward, bring them vertical and make fists and go up and down with the wrists, waking up your wrists here. Good. How do they feel? Compare the left with the right side and the right with the left side. And then fingers again, extend the thumb as far as you can and then bring the thumb in, extending the thumb and bring the thumb in and go again and again. Let's count down five, four, three, good job, two, and one, release, circling the thumb now forward. Circling forward, 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 whatever forward means to you here. And see what kind of, how the left side feels and how the right side feels. And then turn the thumb around, turn in the other side, circling in the other side. Good. How does that feel to you? And release, shake your wrist, shake your arms. Hmm. Bring the hands up again. And we're clawing the fingers right now. So cat, cat claws here. Cat claws. And then fists. And cat claws again. And fists. And go again and again. 
So it feels good to you. Don't go 100%, go 50%. We're waking up the, the fingers, giving them a lot of space to play with. Good. Not too much intensity, but a little. And then go one more time. Breathe deeply and release. Good. And from this position, from this position, we draw the shoulders to the back. Keep the shoulders down. We just draw the shoulders to the back as much as we can, and then we release again. And we go to the back and release. And we count to five as we're going to the back. We bring the shoulders to the back, breathing in deeply. And release. Good. To the back. And release. Good. Release. Go again. Let's go two more times. Awesome chop so far. So the chin is a little bit back. The head is a little bit back. Release. Go last time. And release this. Good. Shake your arms, shake your shoulders, shake your elbows. And then bring the hands together. Push into the mounts of the fingers here. Pushing the mounts into the fingers together and clawing the fingers a little bit. Push together and release. Pushing together into the index finger mount, into all the mounts and release. Clawing the fingers a little. Pushing together, releasing, pushing together, and releasing, good. Really connecting with the index finger mount, feeling how they push into each other. So especially this one here, right? And go one more time here. And then just hold it like this, push a little bit together and look between the palms through and there should be a little hole from the palms going somewhere between the ring finger through and as as long as this hole is really small that's fine if it's like really big then you should push in a little bit more and it should get really really small good shake shake your wrist and if you don't figure it out completely, don't worry about it. You will, so have some time. Then bring the hands together, push into the mounts of the fingers again and lift the fingers off. Lifting the fingers off and fingers together. Pushing into the mounts of the fingers, lifting the fingers off and fingers back together. Lifting the fingers off and back together and fingers off. Back together, good. Right. Off and together. Off and together. Off and together. Together and shake your wrists, shake your fingers. And then bring the hands together, interlace the fingers and go left and right. Interlacing the fingers together. Trying to keep your shoulders somewhat neutral, so shoulders are not too forward, like but keeping the shoulders somewhat neutral and going left and right with the fingers the wrist and also don't engage the fingers too much so have the fingers loose giving a lot of space in the wrists right now good job and then fix the right hand grab on with the left hand and just rotate with the left hand so the left hand's muscles are working meanwhile the right hand is just fixed the right arm is just fixed and see where you can move the right wrist to. Then release this again 
fix the left hand grab on with the right and move the right uh, left wrist with the right hand with the right arm and again see where you can go to maybe to other places And then release this as well. Shake your wrists. And come one more time together with, with the fingers interlaced them. And go one more time. Really balanced with both forces of the hands, of the arms. Kind of a similar weight. Balanced, balanced. So not like the left hand is doing more work. Not the right hand is doing more work. Both are doing the same amount of work or have the same amount of intensity in this movement and try to change the movement pattern maybe a little bit and see where you can go integrating the elbows and the shoulders a little bit more in the movement make it crazy and then release it good job shake your wrist shake your arms shake your shoulders and good bring the hands up again Hands up together and warm the palms up. Warm the palms up. Coming slowly to one of my favorite movements. Not just quite yet, but almost, almost there. Also, the other other movement that we just did was really I liked it a lot with the with wrists to the left, to the right. I liked it a lot. So from here, as you warmed up your hands a little. Bring the hands in front of the eyes together so you'll feel the warmth of your hands on your eyes. And then slowly, slowly, so five millimeters away from the eyes and you can close your eyes. Slowly release the palms down to your, to your skin and draw down on your skin with your palms. And release the hands down. Good. Now from here as this is kind of a closing movement as we have probably the shoulders a little bit forward as we are doing this. We want to open the shoulders a little. So we bring our arms by our sides up. The palms are facing forward. And we imagine ourselves we want to hug the world. So hugging the world. We really need to have a lot of space from palm to palm, from finger to finger. And we do this by breathing in deeply first. Get longer from the sitting bones to the head. And next thing, we extend out of the shoulders a lot, a lot. Extending out of the shoulders a lot, a lot. Breathing in deep. Ah, breathing out the next thing, fingers away from each other, finding more space between the fingers. So breathing in here as well. Yeah. Then we take one more deep breath and we imagine hugging the world. Breathing in deeply. Long, 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 long. Uh, breathing out, taking more space and slowly releasing the hands down. Good job. How did that feel to you? How did that feel to you? It's from there we slowly arc up from the lower spine, slowly up, arcing up, looking up and rounding down from the top of the head down. And arcing up again from the lower spine up. Rounding down from the top of the spine down. And arcing up again. Rounding down. And arcing up. Rounding down. And up. And we arc up from the lower spine, vertebra by vertebra. Every, uh, yeah, one more thing. 
Every time your sitting pose becomes uncomfortable, you're free to change it. Even if you're sitting in a chair, feel, too free, feel free to change your sitting pose. Arcing up and rounding down the top of the spine down, arcing up again from the lower spine, slowly upward. Arcing up, rounding down from the top of the spine down, and arcing up again. Rounding down, good. Arcing up. Rounding down, good. And from there, release. Sit up straight. And we're looking to the right with the right chin or the right shoulder. Breathing in deep, as deep as you can. And breathing out, changing the side, looking to the left shoulder, breathing in deep. Breathing out, changing. Right. The right shoulder, release the shoulders down as good as you can. Go with your own breathing. So as you're breathing out, changing the side. One last time, each side, breathing in deep, and breathing out, come back into the middle, good. From there, we bring the right ear to the right shoulder, breathe in deep, and breathe out, release the head down. Changing the side to the other side, left ear to left shoulder, release the shoulders down as good as you can, breathe in deeply. Breathing out, change the side, to the right, right ear to the right shoulder, breathing in deeply. Changing the sign, left ear to the left shoulder. And again, releasing the shoulders down a lot, a lot. Breathing out, changing the side. Right ear to the right shoulder. And from there, optional, you can bring the right hand up, release the shoulder still down, grab on next to your ear. And you just want to give the weight of the hand there. You don't want to pull down. You want to go the, give the weight there. Release the shoulder down. And we want to engage the left arm a little bit and pull a little bit down. Breathing in deeply. And breathing out. And in again. And 
breathing out, changing the side slowly, slowly. Take your time to the left side. And also here, bring, if you like, optional, bring the left hand up and find a good position for your head. Chin a little bit back, engage your right arm and draw a little bit down. And also try to release your shoulders a lot, a lot. And then breathing out, releasing. Come one more time each side. Take your time here, no need to hurry. If you're doing variant one, so without a hand, you can go a little bit faster and change with each breath. But keep your breath really deep. Work with your breath. Use your breath as a tool to feel the stretch. And breathing out, changing the side. Breathing in. Breathing out, releasing the head forward, change the side. Go one more time. Really deep in. And breathing out. Go in your own rhythm, with your own breath, but do one last rotation, one last change, and then release forward. Good. release forward, release the head forward and bring the head up. Good. Breathe in deeply. How did that feel to you? How does your head feel right now? How do your shoulders feel right now? What does happen when you bring the shoulders forward, up or back? Does this feel different right now than before? Shake your wrists, shake your arms, shake your elbows. Good. And now let's slowly stand up. Take your time standing up. As you are sitting for quite some time right now, take your time to stand up. Even if you are in a chair, make it comfortable for yourself to stand up. And then shake your legs a little. Shaking your legs. And from there, start to jump a little bit, maybe just out of the knees first. And release all the muscles that are not used right now for either uh, balancing, the, balancing the body or yeah, for balancing the body in place. Release all these muscles and maybe these are the shoulders and the neck. And maybe jump out of the heels a little bit more. And really release the shoulders and the neck. Let the neck jump as well a little bit. So waking your whole body up and maybe jump even a little bit more. At any point, if this starts hurting you, please just come out of it and stand again or slow down the movement again. And really try to release the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists. Okay, come down, come back, come back slowly. Five, four, three, two, one. 
for free to slow down and release completely awesome bring your hands by your side and we want to create a box from the shoulders to the wrists and we want to keep this box so bring your hands to the sides lean to the right then lean to the left and by doing this you want to you want to just feel how this feels and by keeping the hips and the shoulders kind of pa in parallel. So when you lean to the left, your right leg lifts automatically off the floor or the left to right again. They lift automatically off the floor as we're picking the hip up as we want to have this box still here, the body from the shoulders to the hips. If you understand somewhat, and the next time we go to the right, we're holding it there. Going to the right, we're holding it there. And optionally, you can grab around your belly. You can feel how the left side is activated. The left side of your body is activated, and then bring your hands out again. And release, change the side to the left side. And here, feel how the right side is activated. So, you can grab around the belly and feel how the right side is activated, if you like. And your head is in line with the spine. So it's going down in line with the spine. Good. And then release, come back into the middle. Shake your arms a little bit. And from there, to one of my favorite exercises. This is called wet towel exercise. So we release the arms by our side, release all the muscles in the arms. We engage the knees and the thighs and we turn from the belly to button to the left and to the right. And the arms are completely released. So we're hitting our belly button, our lower back, if you like. That's the belly, but we are hitting our lower back with the wrists. And the wrists are getting a massage. The lower back is getting a massage. The shoulders are getting a massage. And the whole spine is getting a massage. So try to really engage the knees. So let the movement come out of the belly, not out of the knees. So to over exaggerate this with the knees, we don't want to do this but we want to keep the knees and the thighs as stable as we can. And turn with the belly, give impulses with the belly. And impulse to the left, impulse to the right. And either go a little bit slower or go a little bit faster, but keep the rhythm going. So the rhythm is key here. And the head is either looking forward directly or looking left and right, keeping the head between the shoulders. Good. And then close your eyes, count down five, four, three, two, one, and release. And if you still feel some impulses left and right, this is where the center of your body lies. If you don't, don't worry about it. And then slowly open your eyes and shift your body forward. And let's go to the left today, to the left. And then to the back. And to the right. And forward the left, to the back, and to the right. Forward, and change the side to the right, to the back. Whoop, if you fall out of it, laugh about it. <laughs> to the left, and, and go in your own rhythm here. Go one more time through. Keep off legs on the floor if possible.
and let's circle one more time in either direction you like just take your time and when you're forward take a break there and come back to all all the sides of the feet so bringing the weight now really balanced between the feet balance between the outer edges of the fit, feet, the toes, the heels. Good. And we really want to connect into the ground right now because we're attached to the ground right now and we can do all these movements that we're doing with our belly and such <coughs> way better when we are connected to the ground. <coughs> Otherwise, it doesn't really work. <laughs> so we want to have a connection point to the ground as we're moving, as we're doing activities that we love. So really connecting with the ground right now. Good job. So I hope you understand a little. Let's come, come to the floor slowly. So take your time to the floor in either way that feels good to you and lying back on your back from there we are picking one leg up grabbing below the knee and pulling a little bit back finding a stretch here in the leg engaging the knee engaging the toes and from there draw the toes down then the foot down and then draw the whole foot down Toes up, foot up, toes down, foot down, toes up, foot up, and continue on your own. Good. Now that does that feel to you? Don't go too far, but go where you feel something, let's say like this. And especially if you're doing it the first time, don't go too far. Don't push yourself too far and then release the leg slowly down, changing the leg, bring the other leg up, grab on below the knee and try to keep your shoulders on the floor if you can. Toes up, foot up, and toes down, foot down, toes up, foot up, engage the knee a lot, toes down, foot down, toes up, foot up. Toes down, foot down. Continue on your own. Good. And slowly release the leg down. And shift here. Shift your hips a little bit left and right right now. From this, bring your knees up and shift the knees to the right and to the left. Come into cactus arms so your elbows are next to your shoulders. Fingers are pointing up. And left and right. Releasing the knees to the right and releasing the knees to the left. And release this movement and let's come to a wall right now. So shifting your hips towards a wall, find a wall and then bring your legs up onto the wall. If you don't have a wall you can also just come into this position when you're sitting. But I recommend highly a wall because we want to, want to go a little bit deeper. And if this doesn't feel good to you, 
or if this hurts you please come out of it and just wait for us as we're coming or you can also come already come to Shavasana if this feels good to you bring your elbows next to the body push them into the ground fingers are pointing up lift your hips up grab onto your hips and extend the feet from there we just want to look up into the sky up into the sky and not left or right because there's a lot of pressure on our neck we want to give some weight from the legs onto our elbows here right as we're holding the hips right so in this position this is an inversion so all the blood that was stuck in the toes is coming down our, in our body and gets reoxygenated so we want to breathe in deeply the belly into the chest And release down vertebra by vertebra releasing the, the, the spine down to the floor and shift yourself to Shavasana so feet lying on your back lying on your back feet are extended toes are facing away from each other arms are lying by your sides palms are pointed up towards the sky oh, breathe deeply And we'll get you back out of this position in about two minutes. So just be right now, just be. Deepening your breath, start to move your fingers, start to move your toes. Keep your eyes closed for this moment and come back to your body. When you're ready, draw the knees in towards your belly and shift yourself towards the left or the right side, coming to lie down in a side body position. Breathe in deep. And with your next breath in, lift yourself up, come into a final sitting pose. Breathe 
bring the hands in front of the heart together. And thank you so much for practicing with me today, honoring your calmness that you brought, that you, that you brought along, but also maybe found right now in this practice. Release the arms, open the eyes and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Um, as always, uh, I'm here every day. If you like to exit right now, you can do so. But you can also enter the class right now as we're going to the second part of it. We're going for another 45 minutes, more physical exercises right now. So this was the awareness practice of the yoga lesson that I teach today. If you'd like to join the more physical part, we're going right ahead right now. I'm Marcel and... I'm not alone here, but up here is Sean. Sean is here for entertainment, energy and motivation. So if you need some of that, you can look into his eyes and he will send you some. Of course, I'm always here for your questions. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away and I'll respond as soon as I can. Good. Let's go for the second part of the yoga lesson right now. So release the arms by your sides and breathe in deeply. Um, breathe out. Find a good sit if you haven't already. And we will be only sitting for a little moment. And then we move on. But connect with your breath, connect with your sitting bones that are yeah, rooted in the floor. And from the sitting bones, we want to get long to the head. So breathe in deeply. Long, 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 long. Ah, breathing out, releasing. Breathing in again. Breathing out, releasing. Good. From here, let's come to all fours. Shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. And then we're slowly arcing up from the lower spine, slowly up, arcing up. And rounding now from the top of the head down. Try to go vertebra by vertebra down, arcing up, lower spine, top of the head. Arcing down, top of the head down, arcing around, arcing up. <laughs> I mean, rounding now. And how are you feeling today? really connecting with your body right now finding calmness in your body arcing up and rounding down from the top of the head down arcing up rounding down up, rounding down from the top of the head down, and arcing up again. And let's take it deeper today a little bit. So we bring the right elbow to the floor and grab on to the left wrist. And from there we arc up. And we round down, arcing up, and we rounding down, arcing up, and we round down, arcing up, and rounding down, rounding down. Good. Release this, change the side. And here, arcing up and rounding down. So important here is you want to have the hand, the arm really straight. We do not want to bend at the elbow. We want to have it straight. And then we arc up and we round down, finding other 
positions in your spine maybe feel kind of a little bit blocked really keep your elbows straight down. then release come back into the middle and sit back for a moment shake your wrists shake your arms Come back to the front, hips over the knees, and we walk a little bit forward with the hands on the fingertips, walking forward. And from here, we want to engage the shoulders. We engage the chest a little bit up. We don't want to fall completely down here. We're still on our fingertips. We want to engage a little bit. We don't want to put, put too much pressure in your shoulders. We want to open them. Sure, we want to open them, but we want to open them safely, so we engage the shoulders also. The belly in and up, breathe in deeply, belly into the chest. And see what's happening if you're breathing in and breathing out. And breathing out. And release, slowly stepping back with the hands. From here, come back into all fours and release the shoulders down, so chest down, and then pushing out of the shoulder sockets. Shoulders are getting away from the shoulder blades, kind of, and then bring the shoulder blades onto the back, releasing the chest down, sinking down between the shoulders down, and push up again. Just bringing a lot of awareness into the shoulder area right now. Good. And from there, release, sit quickly back, shake your arms, shake your shoulders. And come forward again, all fours. And we extend the right hand forward next to our ear, left leg back. The, the head is an extension of the spine here. So breathe in deeply, get longer from the back leg to the top of the fingers. Imagine an imaginary, imagine an imaginary wall behind you that you're pushing the foot, foot into or the leg into. Then bring the elbow and the knee together, breathing out and extending again. And breathing out and extending. And breathing out, extend and now arc up with your arm, with your leg up and bring them together, arcing up. Try to breathe, control the breathing, have it constant and bring it together, breathing in and breathe out. In let's go one more time up. Good job, and come together and release the hand down. See how the left side feels right now. Shake it out a little bit. <clears throat> back forward and find a good stance between the right hand and the left leg extend the right leg back and the left hand forward breathing in deeply and breathing out Ooh. breathing in can also try to round the head down and now arc up and down arcing up Ooh. good job 
job. Go one more time. <laughs> And release. Sit back on your heels. Shake your arms. Bring the big toes together, the knees a little bit outside. And come into child's pose. Having the, having the hips really close on your heels. Releasing the head down and breathing deeply. Maybe there's a stretch. So breathe in. To that stretch. Keep your shoulders a little bit away from the from the ears. And then come up. Yeah. Place your hands forward. And now really be mindful here about pushing into the mounts of the fingers a lot here. So maybe push into the mounts of the fingers first and then release the fingers down. Make sure that the index finger is pointing approximately forward and your fingers are spread nicely. Clawing them a little bit, the fingers. Shifting your hips back. Your wrists are approximately shoulder width distance apart. And then Maybe a little bit more. And then from there, bring your chest a little bit up. We are in downward facing dog. And we try to make this position a little bit more elaborate right now. So instead of just hanging here and trying it, we are bringing our chest a little bit more up. And we breathe in deeply. We get longer from the heart to the fingers. And then next breathe in we get longer from the heart to the hips we can bend our knees here the heart to the hips finding a lot of space in the lower spine good your our hands are strong our palms are strong shoulders are strong chest is strong bend your knees a little bit more maybe otherwise if you can bring the Bring the heels towards the floor, you can, you can be there already. But otherwise, bend the knees a little bit. That's good. Finding a lot of space in the lower spine here right now. And if you know it, you can turn your thighs inward and back to give it even more space to the lower spine right now. And then look forward between the wrists, breathing out, stepping forward forward fold from there so in forward fold we want to have our hips over the heels somewhat so if you're not as flexible as me a lot of the weight will be over the toes release the neck down a lot release the head down a lot and bring your hands to the hips or to the thighs and bend your knees and stand up with a straight back Good job. Bring your arms into the sky. Breathing in deeply. Get long, 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 long. And release. Bring the hands in front of the heart together. How does your body feel today? Release the arms, shake them out. Good job. And yeah, we're warming up a little bit more. So let's bend forward again. Breathing in deeply, bending forward, breathing out, stand, bring your hands on the mat, push into the mount of the fingers a lot, step back, downward facing dog, breathing in deeply. And from there, we extend the right, hand, right leg up into the sky, up into the sky. From there we bring the right leg in, right knee to the chest, and extend it again. And right leg into the right upper arm, and extending. And right leg to the left upper arm, 
expanding. And right leg to the chest, extending. Right leg to the right upper arm, to the left, to the right, to the left, and extending. And right leg to the chest, and step forward. From there, come up slowly, find a good stance first, and come up for slowly. Make sure your feet are approximately hip width apart. Front knee over front heel. Front knee over front heel. Draw the belly in and up. Good. And engage your butt cheeks. Draw them a little bit together. Draw the hips together. Bring your hands up into the sky. For your one. Breathing in deeply. So a lunge variant of Orient One, right? Breathing in deeply, get longer, and bring the hands in front of the heart together. Twist to the right, and lean down, leaning down, twisting here a little bit. Now here important, you want to create one line from the button foot to the top of the elbow. From there we want to get longer from the back foot to the top of the head, one line, belly in and up. And when you're ready, breathing out, twisting a little bit more. Breathing in. Ah. <laughs> if you fall out of it, laugh about it. Ah. Ah. Breathing out, releasing. Whoop. Releasing the left leg. To down, so back leg down, sorry, not the back leg, front leg moving forward, then draw it back on the toes, toes are drawing back, and you can come up to hold on to your hips right now, and maybe, just maybe hinge a little bit at the hips, so you feel a stretch in the thighs, otherwise you can hold on to some blocks, or a sitting pillow if you have something around or some books and then lean a little bit forward but check with your lower spine that it's not rounding and hinge with your whole hips right hinge at the hips and then release and always if you like to put something under the knee you can do so please take your time listen to your body walk a little bit back with your foot until that's Approximately over the knee, the hips are approximately over the over the knee to the back, the back knee, and then engage the the butt cheeks a lot, a lot. So drawing the hips together, the butt cheeks together, engage the glutes, and from there, really straighten. You should maybe feel already the the hip flexor here. The hip flexor going down from the hips down towards the knee. And if you don't feel anything, you can bring your arms up and lean to the right here. So if the left knee is down, lean to, lean to the right, but just a little bit, not fast, really controlled, because this is really strong stretch here for the hip flexor. And keep your che butt cheeks engaged, glutes engaged. And release. Good. From there, bring your foot again a little bit forward. And again, you can put something under the back knee if you like. Then bring your left elbow to the right knee. Grab around with the thumb up. Bring your back knee up. Grab on the back leg. Now, if you can pull it in a lot, a lot, you can grab around with the index finger pointing down. So first thumb up, then if you can pull it in a lot, grab around with the index finger down, look over your back shoulder. Bring the shoulders onto the back, standing more upright. Good. 
future. And then releasing slowly down, moving the foot even more forward and we're coming back to the first, first stretch. So we pulling the toes up again. Hold on to something, maybe your hips, maybe, maybe some other thing that you have lying around right next to you. Maybe a block and lean a little bit forward with your hips. So hinge at the hips. This should be enough for me. This is enough already. Should feel a good stretch in your hamstrings. And then release. Awesome job. From there, bring your arms forward, hands forward, step up with the back leg, step back. Breathing in deeply. Walk a little bit in downward facing dog. And see how the left side feels compared to the right side right now. Your downward facing dog doesn't need to be perfect right now. But push into the mounts of the fingers a lot. Especially the index finger mounts. Good. From there, bring your left leg up, not a lot, then to the chest, knee to the chest, up again, knee to the left upper arm, up again, the right upper arm, up again, and to the left upper arm, to the right upper arm, to the left upper arm, to the right upper arm, and up again. And bring it in to the chest and step forward. You can also lift it a little bit forward if you need to. If you can stop, can step completely forward. And then draw the feet a little bit towards each other. So the feet there the, on the floor. Have them somewhat hip width distance apart. And from there. Breathe in deeply, draw the belly in and up, bring your hands up into the sky. Warrior one, and as you're breathing in, you want to get longer towards the fingers, from the feet up towards the fingers, get longer. And breathing out, one more time. Good. And then bring the hands in front of the heart together. Turn to the left, whoop, and bring the right elbow to the left knee. Get longer from the back foot to the top of the head. And then breathing in, get longer. And breathing out, twisting a little bit, maybe looking up into the sky. Head is an extension of the spine and breathing in again, get longer. And breathing out, twisting a little bit more. And releasing, hands down, release the back knee down. You walk a little bit forward at the front leg, draw the toes back. Hips over knee. And maybe hold on to something and from there hinge at the hips. Good. And release again and hinge at the hips. And release. Come forward, bring the foot a little bit back so that we have the knee over the heel and the hips over the back knee. From there we engage the, the butt cheeks a lot, engage the glutes a lot and you should maybe feel already how there's a stretch in the hip flexors going down from the hips towards the knee. Then bring your hands up, really be Really be uh, careful here. You know how far to take it. Don't take it too far. 
and then lean to the left side just this little tiny bit when the right knee is down to the left side if the left knee is down to the right side Get the belly in and up and just lean a little bit and release you know how far to take it and good job bring your foot a little bit forward again oh So Milket, if, 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 Milket, if you're still here, then give it for the follow. Unfortunately, I didn't hear it. So maybe something is uh, not good. Thank you so much for the follow, Milket, if you're still here. Appreciate it. Uh, as always, if you have any questions here, feel free to ask away. I'm doing yoga every day. So if you like to join in one day, you can do so. I'm here every day. So bring the right arm to the uh, left elbow. Of course, you can put something under the knee if you like to do so. Bring the back knee leg up. Grab on with the thumb pointing up on your back leg. Grab on and pull in a little bit. If you can pull in a lot, you can bring the index finger down. So the index finger is pointing down on your knee, on your leg, on your foot. <laughs> Otherwise, just grab around with the thumb and try to look back over the shoulder, over the shoulder, over the back shoulder. Drawing the belly in and up. Good. And from there, release the leg down again. Walk forward with the foot again. And draw the toes up. Draw the foot up. And hold on to maybe some blocks or something. Or hold on to your hips and hinge at the hips. Really at the hips, not rounding with the lower spine, but hinging at the hips forward. Boop. And there should be a good stretch. At least for me, there's a good stretch in the lower, lower hamstrings and the hamstrings and then release come forward again bring your hands forward step up with the back leg step back with the left leg and breathe in deeply downward facing dog hips into the sky Good. and from here just walk a little bit check if how the left side feels, how the right side feels right now. Then shift the heels to the left side. So the heels to the left side. Shift your hips to the back and feel a strong stretch through the right side body. Breathe in deeply. And breathing out, releasing this. Heels to the right side. Feel a strong stretch through the left side body. Hips to the back. And come back to the middle and slowly release the knees down, knees to the outside of the mat, big toes together, sitting back on your heels and reaching forward with your arms. Releasing the head forward. Keeping your heel hips close to the heels as you can. Breathing in deeply. And releasing. One more deep breath in. If you feel a stretch, breathe into the stretch. And then come up. Good. And quickly check the time. Yeah, we have 15 minutes left. That's awesome. So I'd love to do some more stretching today as I've not done that much stretching in the past. Let's do some more stretching today. And we quickly come up to standing. Just make your way to standing. We come to the front of our mat. We shift our way to the right leg and step back with the left leg. We come into warrior two. 
so we're going into a deeper stretching right afterwards. Warrior two is feet 90 degrees turned. Maybe if you like, you can point the toes a little bit forward, but the front foot is in line with the middle of the back foot. Front foot in line with the middle of the back foot. So draw a line from the front foot in the middle of the back foot. Draw the legs together. Your hips are kind of open. They're not turned like this. We're not looking forward. We're looking to the side. We're looking to the side here. Bring the hands up. Front knee or front heel. Good. Draw the belly in and up. Good job. Look forward to where the knee is bent. Then bring your hands around. Bring the shoulders onto the back. And turn only the hands around again. Keeping the shoulders where they are right now. And then breathe in deeply. Get longer from the hands to the hands to the fingers to the fingers. And then breathing out. Peaceful warrior. So we're bringing the left hand to the thighs and we bring the right forward hand to the back. Draw the belly in and up. Find a stretch here. Come forward. Bring the right elbow to the left knee. Uh, right elbow to the right knee. And extend the left hand. A lot, a lot. Draw the belly in and up. Make one line from the back foot to the top of the hands. And let's come back up here one more time. And straighten the front foot right now. Front knee. Step in a little bit. If you like. Your knee is engaged. We bring the hands out to the sides. And we come to one of my uh, poses that I don't really like because I just trained it to less, I think. And what we want to do is we want to shift at the hips. We, we don't want to bend uh, at the side body. We want to shift at the hips. So one hip is going down and the other hip is coming up. And how we're doing this is we bring our arms by the sides. We shift the front hip a little bit down, the back hip a little bit down, and we reach forward. And then there's a point where we want to start bending up, but we shouldn't bend, right? So we want to have both sides still long, grab down wherever the hands, hand lands. That is where you work today. Keep the front knee engaged. Trikonasana. <sighs> And it's super hard for me. Whoa. I hope it's also somewhat manageable for you. Maybe you're a little bit more flexible. Bring the front hips down, back hips up. And work where you are today. Honor where you are today. And release. Good job. Bend the front leg and step slowly forward. Let's change the side here. And we're going deeper afterward. So shift all the way to the left leg, step back with the right leg, turn it 90 degrees. Coming to warrior two. So have the front knee over the front, over the front heel. So you really want to have it over the front heel. If that doesn't work for you, or if it's like to the side, bring it back and maybe turn your back toes a little bit forward. Draw the feet together, bring the hands to the side, front heel, front foot is in line with the middle of the back foot, draw the belly in and up, look forward over the front hand and turn the hands around, bringing the shoulders back onto the back, shoulder blades onto the back, turn only the fingers, the hands around again, what's going on right now. Get longer from hand to hand. As you're breathing in, and breathe out, take up more space. From there, let's come to Peaceful Warrior. So bring the right hand to the thigh and round a little bit back. Draw the belly in and up. And come forward. Knee, elbow to knee. Extend the right hand far, far, far from the back foot to the top of the hand. Draw the belly in and up. Make one line here. And then come to the back again. 
straighten the front knee, step in a little bit maybe. Or if you know how it's more comfortable for you, you can do that. I like to step in a little bit, engage the knee a little, back leg, and then reach forward with both of the, with, with the hands, kind of like with your body reaching forward. Like you're all already creating this left heel down, uh, left hips down, right hips up. And then kind of reach forward wherever you are, land. It's where you work today. Trying to keep the left side body long, the right side body long. It's super hard. Maybe come better, come up a little bit more. Really feel how the hips are doing here. And then release. Good job. Awesome. Bend your knee, step forward. Oof, oof. Not my favorite pose to do. Jump a little bit, relax a little bit. Awesome job. I need to do it a little bit more. Krikanasana. Isn't that. It's hard for me to do because, yeah. Bend forward, place your hands at the mat, push into the mounds of the fingers, stepping back to downward facing dog. And from here, you want to bring all the way to the left leg, stepping up with the right, and bring the right forward, lay down with the right, right knee to the right wrist. And your foot, either uh, kind of like 45 degrees back or even more back. But the, whole, uh, the final position would be parallel to the front of the mat. But I can't do that and it's too deep for me. So I will, will do this variant. If you can go deeper, you're free to go deeper. I'll explain this variant here. And we want to really focus that we're drawing the foot, the back foot back in one line and we're lying it down in one line so our back foot is straight and we want to keep the hips leveled. So the hips, try to check your hip bones maybe, keep them leveled across the floor. From there you want to reach forward. So you don't want to feel any hurt in the, anything that hurts in your knee, otherwise please come up and release this position. If it feels good to you, keep the hips leveled and let yourself Come slowly to the ground, maybe to, to the elbows, maybe even further down. If you're already more experienced, you know where to take this. And breathe in deeply. Breathe out. Trying to keep the hips really leveled with your best intention. Breathe in deeply and out. Good job. Keeping the hips leveled, having a lot of intention there. Breathing in one more time, as deep as you can. And slowly walking back up with the, with the fingers, with the fingertips. And from there we want to find a lot of space in the lower spine right now. And we want to push, push, push up a little bit. And straight head, not not like a completely back bendish, like looking up, but we want to find more a back bend in the lower spine, just pushing ourselves up, lower spine back bend, and releasing, stepping your arms forward, 
push into the mounts of the fingers a lot, push the, bring the back foot up, leave the leaf of the knee of the back foot and push into the hands and step back with your right leg. Go slowly, be mindfully here. So this, this is quite a deep stretch. Feel how the left and the right side feels right now. Up and down. Oh. Then bring the left leg up into the sky and bringing it forward, knee to the wrist. And coming down, maybe stepping a little bit back with the foot. So we can come on the toes on the back and draw a little bit back. And from there, from there, keep the hips leveled. Hips leveled, hips on the same height. Kind enough. From there, walk slowly forward with the fingers and come down. Breathing in deeply. So it shouldn't feel bad on the... So the front foot can one be engaged if you like, or it can lie kind of like straight or engaged. As it feels better to you. And keep the hips leveled as good as you can, really important. Bring them into the middle, bring them into the middle of your kind of like where you are, not too much to the left, kind of into the middle your space where you are between the middle of the knees if you want so back leg is to the back and then come slowly down i hope i explained that enough uh, concretely for you it's a hard pose i think for me it's a hard pose i always thought it's a hard pose i'm breathing in deeply and if it hurts on your knee please come get a come out of it. It should be more of a stretch at the hips. Uh, breathe in deep. Keep the hips leveled. And then slowly come up again. And from there, find again a lot of a lower spine back bend here. Not in the whole back, but in the lower spine. Get long top of the shoulders, bring the shoulders a little bit back. Get long with your head coming up. Keep your head as an extension of the spine, so I'm not looking like up like this, but keep it as long as an extension of the spine. Feel great there and find more space in the lower spine. From there, release, bring the hands forward, push into the mounts of the fingers a lot, claw the fingers a lot, bring the back leg up, knees up, and lift up, step back. And the downward facing dog and step a little bit up and down. Just a little bit up and down. Just a little bit up and down. That feels good to you. How does your right side feel right now? How does the left side feel right now? Look forward between the wrists, breathe out. And as you're breathing out, stepping forward, forward fold. Bring your hips over the heels as good as you can. Release the neck, release the head down. So for me, a lot of the weight is over the toes as I bring my hips over the heels, bend the knees and stand up with a straight back. 
Awesome job. Bring your arms into the sky. Bring them in front of the heart together. Good. <laughs> um, I completely forgot the time today. So we're taking a little bit more time to come out of this sequence today. We're already 5.30. That's normally where I close the class. So <laughs> slowly come to the back. Lie on your back. And let's just do a happy baby position today. If you like to do something else, you can do that. So bring your knees up, knees a little bit to, to the belly, to the chest. Grab on with your arms between the legs. Grab on with the in index finger and the middle finger to the toes if you like. If you're not as flexible as me, you can do that. Or otherwise, if you're more flexible and it feels more comfortable to you, you can grab onto the outer edges of the feet with the hands. And then extend one leg, extend the right leg, extend the left leg. And circle a little bit. Give your back a massage. Give your oh, whole back a massage. See where you can go to the right, maybe fall to the right, push yourself up to the left, fall to the left and push yourself up again. Extend the right leg, extend the left leg. And go left and right, as it feels good to you. And then slowly release the legs. Extend the toes, so extend the legs, toes are facing away from each other, arms are lying by your side, palms are facing up into the sky. And just be for around three minutes, then I will get you back to your body. Just be in Shavasana right now. Just be. Deepening your breath. 
Start to move your fingers, start to move your toes. And when you're ready, draw the knees in towards your belly. Coming back to your body. And shifting yourself to either the left or the right side. Coming to lie down on your side body. From there, make this position comfortable for yourself. Side body position. Releasing the shoulder muscles, releasing the neck muscles, the tongue muscles, <laughs> the arms, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, the chest, the belly, the hips, the legs, the knees, the ankles, the heels, the toes. Release all the muscles in your body. With your next breath, feel carried by the gravity of the earth. Release all the muscles and feel carried by the gravity of the earth. And with your next breath, breathe in deeply, lift yourself up through the side, come into a final sitting pose. Bring the hands, as soon as you're sitting up, keep your eyes closed and bring the hands in front of the heart together. And connecting to your inner calmness one more time. Honoring your yoga lesson, your effort you took for this yoga lesson, this your yoga lesson. Releasing the arms, opening the eyes and welcome back. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. So, for everybody that's still here, um, I'm teaching every day on Twitch. Um, if you like to join in again, feel free to do so. If you like to if you have any questions, ideas, or suggestions, let me know. You can also uh, um, connect to me via Discord. Other than that, I have a YouTube channel. Check that out. And I hope to see you very soon again. So thank you so much for being here today. And I wish you a wonderful rest of the day. Again, I'm Marcel. I'm here together with Sean. Sean is up here. Sean is a dragon that is here for entertainment, energy and motivation. I am here for the instructions and I am really happy to have you guys around. And I hope to see you very soon again. So let me quickly check if I can rate somebody. <coughs> and then we are going to close it here right now. Yeah, let's, let's rate loco. And we're going to close it here right now. As there are no more questions around, have, fun, have a wonderful rest of the day. Um, yeah, let's close it here. Bye, you guys. Bye-bye.